famous to forgotten, the 15 actors who crashed. Discover the wild and unbelievable ways that these 15 actors self-destructed and derailed their once promising careers. From irrational outbursts to scandalous secrets, these actors had it all, but somehow managed to throw it all away. And wait until you hear the most bizarre reason yet why one actor's nose job became their career's downfall. Get ready to be shocked and entertained as we reveal the untold stories of these fallen stars. Before the video begins, comment below predicting the 15 actors you think we will talk about. And stick around to see if you're correct. The False Report Scandal, Jesse Smollett. On January 29, 2019, the world was shocked by news of an alleged hate crime against actor Jesse Smollett. The actor called the police, claiming that the two men had attacked him in the middle of the night, shouted slurs, and put a loose rope around his neck. The incident sparked widespread outrage, and the police quickly launched an investigation to bring the perpetrators to justice. However, as the investigation progressed, new information came to light that would completely change the course of the case. In February of 2019, the police apprehended the two men who were allegedly behind the attack. Upon questioning, the men confessed that the attack was not motivated by hate, but by money. Jesse Smollett had secretly paid the two men to fake the attack and then lied to the police about what had happened. The police quickly charged Jesse with filing a false police report, a serious offense that carried the potential for a substantial jail sentence. Jesse surrendered himself to the authorities, and in November of 2021, his case finally went to trial. Despite his claims of innocence and a viral outburst of, I'm not suicidal. I'm not suicidal. Okay. I'm not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. The jury found Jesse guilty and sentenced him to 150 days in jail and a $150,000 fine. The actor served his time and was released in March of 2022, but the incident forever tarnished his reputation and his once promising career. The entertainment industry is a fickle place, and one wrong move can quickly lead to downfall. So sit back, buckle up, and get ready for a wild ride through the world of fallen stars and ruined careers. From Transformers to Termination, Megan Fox. Megan Fox, the actress known for her captivating performances in Confession of a Teenage Drama Queen and Hope and Faith, skyrocketed to fame for her role as the lead's love interest in the action-packed Transformers series. But little did she know that one interview would change her life forever. Megan had already starred in two Transformers movies when she sat down for an interview about her experiences on the set. In the interview, she shared some surprising opinions about the film's director, Michael Bay. He's like Napoleon, creating this infamous madman reputation, Megan revealed. Sometimes on set, he wants to be like Hitler, and he is. He's a nightmare to work with. She went on to say, Michael lacks social skills and becomes a tyrant during filming, but it's endearing to see his fragility in reality. When the interview was published, some of the Transformers filming crew members called for Megan's removal from the set. Michael, however, was unfazed. I wasn't bothered by it. That's just Megan being Megan, he stated. She loves to stir things up, but sometimes she goes about it in the wrong way. But despite Michael's indifference, others took notice. It wasn't long before Steven Spielberg told Michael to let Megan go, and she was soon fired from the set. Megan's career was never the same after her firing from Transformers, but she took the opportunity to grow from the experience. I had to endure two years of bad press, she admitted, but the silver lining was that I had to look inward, acknowledge my mistakes, and apologize for my actions. The slap heard across the world, Will Smith. When Will Carroll Smith took to the stage at the 2022 Academy Awards, he wasn't expecting to make headlines for his actions. But when Chris Rock made a joke about Will's wife and her hair loss, the actor snapped. In a shocking moment caught on camera, Will stepped forward and delivered a slap to Chris Rock's face, causing the audience to gasp in disbelief. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! 
The aftermath of Will's explosive outburst was swift and severe. The public was shocked by the actor's actions, and the backlash was intense. Will was banned from attending the Academy Awards for the next decade and resigned from the organization. He stepped away from social media and the public eye, laying low while the storm of controversy raged on. But by October of the same year, Will made a bold return to the big screen with his new movie, Emancipation. Although the film received lukewarm reviews, Will was determined to make a comeback. However, it seemed that Hollywood wasn't ready to forgive and forget just yet. According to one PR expert, mending his reputation might not work for Will in 2022. But Hollywood has a short memory and loves redemption stories. As long as that remains the case, there's a good chance Will could bounce back in 2023. While Will's slap at the Academy Awards may have derailed his career for the time being, it seems the actor is determined to make a comeback. Will he be able to win back the public's trust and make a successful return to Hollywood? Only time will tell. The shocking text that ended Army Hammer's Hollywood career. Army Douglas Hammer, once a rising Hollywood star, saw his career crumble after his outrageous and shocking statements were revealed to the public. In January 2021, anonymous posts on social media exposed texts between Army and various women he was involved with featuring graphic and violent fantasies. The backlash was swift, with ARMY dropping out of multiple projects, including Shotgun Wedding and The Offer. Not only was ARMY facing public outrage, he was also facing a criminal investigation after one of the women he communicated with accused him of assault. Despite the findings of the investigation being unlikely to result in criminal charges, ARMY's reputation was severely damaged and his future in Hollywood looked grim. Desperate to turn his life around, Army checked into rehab and fled to the Cayman Islands to be with his estranged wife and children. However, his family refused to financially support him, leaving him to fend for himself. Army was forced to find work and was reportedly seen working as a timeshare salesman in the Cayman Islands. Now, rumors have it that Army has returned to the United States as of January 2023, but with his reputation in shambles and his Hollywood prospects looking dim, what does the future hold for the once promising actor? From Hotchner to Has Been, Thomas Gibson. As one of the stars of the hit TV show Criminal Minds, Thomas Gibson's portrayal of Aaron Hotchner won the hearts of audiences everywhere. But despite 11 successful years on the show, Thomas's time on Criminal Minds came to an abrupt end in 2016, following a physical altercation with a writer on set. This wasn't Thomas's first run-in with conflict on set, and it resulted in his firing from the show. Since then, Thomas has struggled to find success in the acting world. Although he had a minor role in the film Shadow Wolves and starred in the independently made 2017 film Axis, Thomas's career hasn't quite taken off. However, Thomas is enjoying a comfortable life in San Antonio, Texas, with a net worth of over $18 million from his years as a professional actor. When he wants to relax and unwind, Thomas can be found golfing at the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Despite his struggles in the entertainment industry, Thomas remains a beloved figure in the minds of Criminal Minds fans everywhere. From laughter to legal issues, T.J. Miller. Todd Joseph Miller, better known as T.J. Miller, rose to fame for his comedic roles in hit TV shows like Silicon Valley and movies like How to Train Your Dragon and Deadpool. However, despite his successful acting career, T.J. faced numerous personal issues that eventually led to the downfall of his career. In December 2016, TJ was involved in an altercation with an Uber driver, which led to a $20,000 bail payment. The following year, he was accused of sexual assault, which he denied. TJ also faced controversy for sending transphobic emails to a film critic who is also a transgender woman. In April 2018, TJ made a grave mistake when he called in a fake bomb threat for an Amtrak train while he was on board. He was apprehended by authorities for calling law enforcement under false pretenses and had to pay a bond of $100,000.
This incident greatly damaged TJ's reputation and acting career, causing many of his acting roles to be canceled. Most recently, his insults towards Ryan Reynolds ended up backfiring when Ryan Reynolds responded with nothing but positivity, making TJ the mean one. Despite this setback, TJ continues to pursue his passion for comedy and entertainment. TJ has since returned to stand-up comedy, but he remains hopeful about returning to Hollywood. He's been pitching a movie idea called The Loneliest Megaplex, featuring a lonely movie theater employee during the worst phase of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hollywood star to independent maverick, Gina Carano. Gina Joy Carano, a former MMA fighter turned actress, made her mark in Hollywood with her electrifying performance in the movie Haywire and her daring role in the Fast and Furious series. But it was her portrayal of the tough and fearless Cara Dune in the Star Wars TV series, The Mandalorian, that cemented her place as a Hollywood powerhouse. However, Gina's success was short-lived as she found herself at the center of controversy. Her social media comments and posts sparked outrage among the public, with many accusing her of making racist and transphobic statements. The cherry on top came when she refused to comply with COVID-19 vaccine requirements for an upcoming movie, which resulted in her being fired from The Mandalorian. The actress lost most of her other movie roles and was pushed out of Hollywood. But Gina is not one to back down. She found a new home with The Daily Wire and started her journey in independent films, starting with Terror on the Prairie in June of 2022. Although her income may not be as high as it was during her time with Disney, she stands by her beliefs and has no regrets about speaking her mind, even if it meant losing her acting career. I stood up for what I believed was right, Gina said on social media, and the more time that passes, the better I feel about that. Gina Carano, a true maverick in every sense of the word, has forged a new path for herself, one that is not limited by Hollywood's norms and expectations. Controversy to Comeback, Mel Gibson. Mel Columseal Gibson was once a Hollywood icon, renowned for his incredible acting and producing talent. But a series of controversial statements and actions threatened to ruin his career forever. In 1991, Mel faced accusations of homophobia after making comments in an interview that many deemed offensive towards the LGBTQ community. Then in 2006, he was arrested for driving under the influence, during which he allegedly shouted anti-Semitic slurs at the officers. To make matters worse, a 2010 leaked phone call featuring Mel using a racial slur sparked widespread outrage. But Mel wasn't ready to give up on his career just yet. He made the decision to seek help for his alcohol abuse and started attending rehab. This, combined with support from his fellow actors and urging from film executives, led to a slow but steady rehabilitation of Mel's public image. In 2016, his directorial effort in the war movie Hacksaw Ridge earned him six Academy Award nominations and marked his official return to the spotlight. Today, Mel continues to work in the movie industry and is currently preparing for the release of Lethal Weapon 5. Despite the challenges he's faced, Mel's unwavering determination and commitment to self-improvement has cemented his status as a true comeback king in Hollywood. Oscar winner to accused predator, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey Fowler was once a shining star in Hollywood, known for his captivating performances in blockbuster hits like American Beauty, Baby Driver, and the critically acclaimed Netflix series House of Cards. The talented actor amassed a long list of accolades, including two Oscar awards, four Screen Actors Guild awards, and even a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And if that weren't enough, Spacey was honored with the title of Honorary Commander for the Order of the British Empire in 2010, followed by Knight Commander for the Order of the British Empire in 2015. But in October of 2017, everything changed for the star when actor Anthony Rapp accused Spacey of sexual indecency. According to Rapp, Spacey made advances on him at a party in 1986 when Rapp was only 14 years old, while Spacey was 26. This shocking revelation was the beginning of a series of allegations against Spacey, leading to his immediate downfall in Hollywood. 
He was fired from his lead role in House of Cards, and his scenes in several movies in progress were either removed or replaced with other actors. Since the initial allegations, Stacy has been embroiled in a series of court battles with his accusers and alleged victims. Despite facing numerous legal challenges, the actor was acquitted of one of the criminal charges in October 2022, giving him a glimmer of hope. However, he still faces seven more charges from alleged incidents in the early 2000s, with the trial set to take place in June of 2023. Despite the controversy surrounding him, Spacey is making a comeback, with the return to the big screen in the Italian movie The Man Who Drew God, set to release in February of 2023. It remains to be seen if the audience will embrace his return, but one thing is for sure, the tale of Kevin Spacey is a cautionary story of the dangers of power and the consequences of misuse. Substance Abuse and Scandal – Charlie Sheen Charlie Irwin Sheen was once at the top of the Hollywood food chain, renowned for his charming portrayal of Charlie Harper on the sitcom Two and a Half Men. His film career was equally impressive, with standout performances in Wall Street, Major League, and The Arrival. At one point, he even held the title of highest paid TV actor, raking in a whopping $1.8 million per episode of Two and a Half Men. But Charlie's wild party lifestyle and substance abuse caught up with him, leading to arrests, scandals, and eventually getting fired from the show that made him a household name. In 2011, he made insulting comments about the creator of Two and a Half Men, Chuck Lorre, leading to his termination from the show. Not one to keep a low profile, Charlie spent the next few months attacking his ex-wife on social media, criticizing Hollywood, and making outrageous claims like blaming the U.S. president for the 9-11 attacks. And in 2015, he shocked the world by revealing he had contracted HIV. After five years out of the public eye, Charlie announced his return to the small screen with a role in the comedy TV series Ramble On. The series, which follows a group of celebrity actors, marks Charlie's first major acting role in five years. Despite his tumultuous past, Charlie continues to persevere, determined to make a comeback in the entertainment industry. From racial slurs to recipe success, Paula Dean. Paula Ann Dean, the beloved host of Paula's Home Cooking, rose to fame in the 1990s and 2000s with her TV show promoting cooking recipes and culinary advice for viewers at home. However, her career took a hit in 2013 when she was sued for making offensive comments about race and using racial slurs. The controversy reached a boiling point when Paula even admitted to using the N-word in the past, causing numerous companies and major brands to sever ties with her. Despite the scandal, Paula bounced back, regaining her place in television. Today, she has two successful shows, Positively Paula and Paula Dean's Sweet Home Savannah, and runs her own restaurant. With 15 cookbooks under her belt, Paula continues to prove her culinary prowess and show the world that she's more than just a controversial figure. Oscar winner to convicted criminal, Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Mark Gooding Jr. was once a shining star in Hollywood, known for his captivating performances in films such as A Few Good Men, As Good As It Gets, and the award-winning movie Jerry Maguire. With a glittering career that spanned decades, it seemed like there was no stopping Cuba's rise to the top. However, in 2019, Cuba's career came crashing down when he was accused of sexual harassment by a woman. The accusations didn't stop there, as a total of 30 women eventually came forward with similar stories. The resulting trial was highly publicized and damaging to Cuba's reputation, and he eventually pleaded guilty to one count of sexual harassment. The outcome of the trial meant that Cuba was blacklisted from Hollywood, and his once thriving career was left in shambles. Despite his past accomplishments and awards, it seems unlikely that Cuba will be able to make a comeback in the entertainment industry. From the flash to the crash, Ezra Miller. Ezra Matthew Miller is a talented actor known for his powerful performances in films such as The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Justice League. He's also a well-known advocate for LGBTQ rights, 
and has been praised for his efforts to raise awareness for the community since coming out as queer in 2012. But despite his success, Ezra's path has taken a turn for the worse. In 2022, he was arrested in Hawaii after getting physical with others and shouting obscenities in a karaoke bar. The incident was only the beginning of his legal troubles, as he was later charged with second-degree assault for throwing a chair at a woman and faced accusations of grooming children and even burglarizing a home in Vermont. Ezra attributes his behavior to struggles with mental illness and has been seeking medical help to address his issues. Despite his controversies, the film executives for The Flash remain open to working with him if he can turn his life around. As he navigates his mental health and legal troubles, Ezra stands at a crossroads in his career. Only time will tell if he can make a comeback in Hollywood and redeem himself. From child star to accused assault, Fred Savage. Fred Aaron Savage rose to fame as the lovable Kevin Arnold in the iconic TV series The Wonder Years. The young actor received critical acclaim for his performances and was considered one of the best child actors of his generation. Over the years, Fred continued to shine in various TV shows, including Boy Meets World, Modern Family, and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. In 2021, Fred made his long-awaited return to the Wonder Years, this time as a director and producer. However, Fred's newfound success was short-lived in May of 2022, a former crew member accused Fred of assault, sending shockwaves throughout Hollywood. As a result, Fred was removed from his position as director on the reboot, and his career in Hollywood was thrown into jeopardy. The allegations against Fred Savage have cast a dark shadow over his once promising career. The former child star now finds himself facing the toughest challenge of his life, fighting to clear his name and restore his reputation in Hollywood. A career nosedive, Jennifer Grey. Jennifer Grey was a rising star in Hollywood after her captivating performance in the hit movie, Dirty Dancing. Her portrayal of the character Baby won her critical acclaim and a Golden Globe Award, but her path to stardom took a drastic turn when she made a fateful decision to undergo plastic surgery. Jennifer felt that her unique appearance was hindering her chances of landing more prestigious roles, and so she underwent a nose job to shorten her long nose. But the procedure had unexpected consequences and resulted in Jennifer needing a second surgery to fix it. When she emerged from the operating room, her appearance was so vastly different that even her close friends struggled to recognize her. The transformation was too drastic for her fans, and Jennifer's fame and popularity took a severe hit. She went from being a recognizable star to becoming anonymous, as if she had vanished into thin air. Jennifer opened up about this in an interview, saying, I went into that plastic surgery room as a famous celebrity, and when I walked out, I was anonymous. It was like I became invisible. Despite the setback, Jennifer remained resilient and continued to pursue her passion for acting. She appeared in several sitcoms, TV series, and even had guest appearances in popular TV shows like Friends and House. She also won the 11th season of Dancing with the Stars. Years later, Jennifer published her memoir, Out of the Corner, which chronicled her journey from Hollywood fame to her current state. Despite the challenges she's faced, Jennifer remains a resilient and talented actress, and her story serves as a testament to the strength of the human spirit. Click here to see 15 actors who ruined their careers in seconds. See you there.